In the corridor, the topic of violence is often widely discussed. Some people claim our youth have been taking part in violent behavior due to boredom. Fox 28 News reporter Doran Miller has more on the different programs offered in the community and how they're working with the youth. Dora? Scott, Karen, we start with a mom whose son has already been in trouble with the law. She says the community has to do a better job when it comes to dealing with our kids. In April, two teenagers were arrested for the armed robberies of three Cedar Rapids businesses. One of them was Christine Lowe's son. As everybody said to my son, if you're out outside after dark, it leads to nothing but jail or death. The 15-year-old ended up in jail. It's a cycle. These kids go in there, come out, and just get right back in trouble to go right to prison. To try and combat some of the violence, Jermaine Cooper helped start an anti-violence group. During Thursday night's town hall, he spoke up. And I was a teen once, you know what I'm saying? And when I got bored, I got on the streets and I did stuff that made me feel fun, made me feel like I was in tune, made me feel like I was loved because didn't nobody show me no attention. There's nothing there for them. That's the biggest problem. You need to give these parents and these kids somewhere to go and something to do. After school programs like HD Youth Center on the southeast side of town and Jane Boyd Community House disagree. Now we do out of school programming, so we really look at after school and summer hours. That's the need that we fulfill right now. But to serve the community, they're constantly looking for input from the public, so Ramsey says. I am open to conversation. So if you would like to come and if you would like to sit down and talk to me about how we can help address the youth, I will give you my card when we finish. The HD Youth Center provides activities and they also provide food for the children after school. They currently have a waiting list though. If you want more information on any one of these programs, we'll have the information on our website, fox28iowa.com. Dora Miller, Fox 28 News.